Okay then, Max Verstappen is a is a moron, isn't he? Max Verstappen is a moron. And Cameron F1 is an absolute disgrace of a person, man. <laughs> I don't know how that guy can show his face, man. If it was someone like me, hidden away, then I could understand it more. But how can you show your face? How can you sit there on camera and record yourself talking absolute crap? Absolute crap. How? How? I really, it just bamboozles me how you can sit and put yourself on the internet talking about, oh, I've been watching Formula One racing for years. I love the way Max was racing. I love the way he races. I love his aggression. Oh, yeah, what he did in uh, Mexico, it was a little bit aggressive, but, you know, it's what we like to see. What, man? What? How were you not saying that was way over the line? And it's nowhere near as far as Max has gone before in the past. Because Max has gone way, way over the line in the past. How are you going to sit there on camera, man? On camera, you're on camera! Cameron, you're on camera. We can see you, man. We can actually see your face. We can look into your eyes and... What, you have no shame, man? The guy has no shame. Crazy, man. Crazy. Like I said, if he didn't have his... If he wasn't on camera, like if it was me, and he was just talking stuff, then I would understand it more, man, because you're hidden. But to actually put yourself on camera and talk the mess that you're talking about, something you say you know about, Nobody, nobody in their right mind thinks that these manoeuvres that we're seeing from Max are okay. They're a problem. Every single driver on that grid says Max is a problem. But Mr. Cameron F1 sits there and says, nah, I don't think it is. <laughs> Jeez, man. When does the penny drop? If, if you're going to look at professionals... And all of the professionals say that this one professional is doing it wrong. Don't you think you should listen to them? The other 19 of the 20 drivers, the only one that says it's okay is the one that's doing it. Everybody else says he goes over the, he goes over the line. Crazy. And Max Verstappen is, is, a, is a moron. What, have you, what is he doing to himself? Again, Max, we can see you. You're on our TV. This is getting broadcasted around the world, Max. So if you do something and you're getting a bit of a name for yourself, try and take your foot off the pedal a little bit and don't do it two weeks in a row. Two weeks in a row, Max. You can, you've got a name for yourself. That's what you do. What are you doing? Think about it. You're professional fouling every week, man. Every time it comes to a challenge, he professional fouls because that was a professional foul. And it's probably worked out for him, points-wise. But as for people looking at you as a human being, it looks so bad. Because he stopped Lando. Maybe, you never know. You never know what might have happened. But if he never did that to Lando, Lando might have finished higher and got more points. Max, I mean, he shot himself in the foot because he got a 20-second penalty, man. Two 10-second penalties. So he, he lost points because of it. But he didn't think he was going to get such harsh penalties, did he? They should have been harsher. But he didn't think he was going to be that harsh. So he did it to slow down Lando so Lando don't win the race and he comes in third or fourth or something because then Lando gets more points because Max ruined Lando's race really well he definitely tried to anyway I reckon that's the philosophy behind it in fact you know what philosophy Max Verstappen they what am I talking about how can I just put them two words together 
How can I make that link? There ain't no philosophy, is there? <laughs> it's just madness. The guy's crazy. Because Carlos Sides got past him, his blood was boiling. And then Lando was going to get past him. So we put a stop to that. And Charles Leclerc went past. So then he was like, wait a minute. No way. We can't have this. Psycho mode switches on. And he just goes pure psycho, doesn't he? <laughs> Jeez, man, these people are absolutely wild, man. There's some wild people in this world, man. Seriously. Seriously. Bring back bullying. That's what I say. This is what happens when you stop bullying. You get morons getting comfortable. You need to, you, there needs to be some, some kind of bullying to a certain extent. Nothing too bad, but just to keep people in line. When people do things wrong, something needs to, to like, do you know what I mean? Get, get, you can't be walking around doing that. Like when you walk around the streets nowadays, right? The type, the, the, the things that you see, I look at it and think, you know what? If you took you back 10 years, what you're doing right now will be bullied out of you. And it should be because you do, that's just not correct what you're doing. Why are you walking around wearing girls clothes <laughs> comfortably? And not even like normal girls clothes, like revealing girls clothes. We've got guys walking around with size 10 feet with heels on. <laughs> or them slip on, like slip on sandal things and not even really shoes. Now, where that looks, man, when you see a guy with size 10 or 11 feet and he's got them little slip on pimpsel things. <laughs> that needs to get bullied out of him. Someone needs to come along, everybody needs to come along and say, you like an idiot. You look like an idiot. And if you keep wearing them, then they just, everyone just keeps making up, everyone just keeps telling them until they realise them shoes are not made for you. They're not yours. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my goodness gracious, man. What's going on in the world today? People fighting, fuming, noon. It's okay. Let it go. Let it roll. Let the good times flow. Tell them, Dre, it ain't nothing but music. Right, anyway, I'll leave that there. Let me know what you think. If you really want to, if you don't, then don't. I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I just think the place is going crazy, man. The place is going crazy. And we need to ban Max Verstappen from Formula One. Have you seen the Fix video? Go check out the Fix video. Fix is like, look at this. Look what Michael Schumacher got banned for for the whole season. And it's the most... It looks so minor. <laughs> compared... To this psycho driving that Max does. And you got people like Cameron, F1, Cameron CC, because he bottled it, man. Bottled it. Bottled it. Got scared because Formula One sent him a little letter. I wonder why, I wonder if that's why he sent me that. You know what? You know what Cameron F1 did? Cameron F1 emailed me threatening to send me a cease and desist. Cameron F1 emailed me threatening to send me a cease and desist if I use his logo, if I talk about him and mention his name in my titles. And then a couple of weeks later, this thing flies around, this rumour that Formula 1 are sending out cease and desists. And then a couple more weeks later, Cameron F1 changes his name. Now, I don't know if he got a cease and desist from Formula 1 and then he got annoyed and said, ah, he's going to send me one. Oh, he sent me one. And then what goes around comes around. And then a week later or whatever, two weeks later, bang. Cameron F1 gets sent a cease and desist, has to change his name. You cannot trade like this. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. But it's all right, they'll keep moving. They'll keep moving, man. Cameron F1 will do all right. Cameron F1 will do all right. On the surface. On the surface. I don't want I don't like saying bad stuff, but I believe my I, I truly believe this type of stuff, man. I truly believe this type of stuff. 
things just, they always find the equilibrium. They always do. So I might be moaning about this now, but I really don't need to. I could just sit back and just watch Cameron F1 and I know what I'm going to see, man. I don't need to say anything. I don't, need to, I don't really need to say anything. I'm just saying it because I've started to speak. But normally, I would be looking at this situation and go, I know exactly what's going to happen over there. And just sit and wait a couple of years and bang, there we go. There we go. It always happens, man. It always happens. But anyway, I'm going to end that right there. I hope you guys are all happy and smiling and not getting all upset and uptight like I am. Because <laughs> there's no need. Let me do it for you. You just laugh along. All right? All right. I'm out of here.